Hey, Cam, thanks for taking a couple of quick minutes here. I'll, I'll make it quick. So you guys are getting Elijah Arroyo back. Can you talk about how, the impact of that for the team um, overall, you know, how it helps your unit? Um, obviously, for the team, I think it's huge. Um, in the unit, um, it's another another body in the room. Um, grateful to be, you know, finally getting Elijah back um, and getting him rolling, and you know, and rolling in the in the in the rotation. Um, you know, we all uh, bring something special to the table, and um, he definitely helped this team win. And I'm looking forward to seeing as it progresses. Can you also talk about you know your game? You've been so physical, helping out in the run and pass game as a as a blocker. Um, do you think that you, you know, is it more Elijah's role now to be the receiving tight end? Do you still see yourself as a receiving threat? Uh, talk about that a little bit. How maybe does your role change at all? Or do you sort of still see yourself doing the same thing with Elijah back in the fold? No, honestly, um, the misconception of me being just a blocking tight end, like, is a little funny um, because I, I am a receiving tight end as well. Um, obviously, opportunities project themselves as they can. I can do it just as well as anybody in this room. Um, so for like a lot of people to label me as just a blocking tight end, um, it gets me upset. I feel like it's a little disrespectful. Um, obviously, we have our strong suits, right? Um, my strong suit is blocking, but I'm just as capable of doing, catching the ball, running routes, being you know, a part of the receiving game, um, as well as everybody else. Um, so do I think, I think our role is all the same, you know? Everybody in the room can block, can catch the football. Um, it's whether or not the opportunities present themselves to us. And when they do, we, our numbers call, we got to make the play. Yeah, I didn't mean to intimate you can only block. Uh, is it more the offensive style of Shannon Dawson that is sort of predicated right now to the receivers? Because when you say, you know, it's based on what the play shows, I mean, are other defenses taking away you being able to catch the ball? Or is it more just the offensive system is targeting the receivers more? You know, it, it's really just the play call to what the defense is, um, you know, whether or not the defense is called to the right, the right call or the play call is, you know, taken away by the, what the defense is calling. It just, it just really depends on what our job is for that, for that, for that play. Um, and like I said, when, when our number is called, um, that's when we have to step up and make the play. And that could be, it's, it'll, it'll be in the most crucial moment of a game. Hey, Cam, uh, I wanted to ask your thoughts on Clemson's defense. They have a top five defense. What are the big challenges this week? You know, their defense is really good, obviously. Um, you know, we got to, we got to, you know, hats off to them. They've, they've done a really good job this year. Um, and I'm excited to play them, obviously. Um, it's a new challenge for us as an offense and going against, you know, defense of their caliber. Um, but we need to be prepared for everything. Um, they, they play really sound football, um, they're physical. They cover well, um, and they they make tackles. So it's our job to create missed tackles, um, protect well, and and get open. So I'm excited for that matchup uh, against them this weekend. And I, yeah. Hey Cam, how's it going? Good man. How you doing? I'm good. Um, so I know you're not technically in the same unit as uh, Francis Maui Noah, but uh, obviously you you kind of work in tandem with the offensive line sometimes. Yeah. Um, how have you seen Francis kind of grow uh, in practice and, and you know, during games? How much do you think the game play has helped him grow? Obviously, he's a true freshman on the offensive line. How has he developed in the last few weeks, month or two? Yeah, obviously, Francis, he's a young guy. So, um, you know, he's been doing a lot of, you know, he's been all, all ears and eyes and just listening and learning. Um, but as the season's gone on, he's gotten a lot more comfortable with being out there. And you can obviously see that. And I definitely feel like he's stepped up to to be in the role that he's in. You know, he's doing a phenomenal job. Um, and a lot of people, you know, salute him for that. Um, it's about now it's just about keep stacking those weeks and performing at that high level that he's been at performing at every week. Cam? Yeah. You there? Um Wondering about the offensive line in general, what kind of job you think they've been doing? Um, you know, they have really great numbers. I know they gave up more sacks this this past week um, and Tyler got hit kind of hard. But as far as, you know, a, as a gelling as a group, what do you think? I think this offensive line is is, is gelled together really well. Um, you know, that unit is is a close knit unit. Um, they practice hard. They play hard. Um and, you know, when we go out there, I step on that field with them that I'm going to get their best and nothing but their best every play. 
um, they're going to leave it all out there. Um, and that kind of goes with the tight end position as well. You know, we're, we're inside the core a lot too. So, you know, we have to take pride in their statistics too, because there's times that we have to be in pass protection and, and uh, it, it falls on us as well, you know, to protect the QB just as much as them. So they're, they're doing a really good job. And, you know, that, that group is really close and I'm grateful to have those guys. How how much tougher does it get as the season progresses just because of the bumps and bruises and the, uh, the physical, you know, what you've been going through? Yeah, obviously, as we get through, you know, ACC play, you know, it only is going to get harder. You know, every game from here is going to get harder. You got to prepare harder than ever before. You know, these games are going to come down to the wire and it's about who can finish the games, really. Um, so ultimately, it's about who can sustain playing at such a high level for so, for as long as you can at this point in the season. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anybody else?